I can remember the first time I made brandy snaps, which are sort of very similar without the uh, chocolate on top and without the food. Now, I have taken one third away from uh, there and just have a look at them. Hello everyone, it's Caitlin, aka Koi Case. I am bringing you yet another Journal With Me video. If you do enjoy Journal With Me's art, other fun lovely things like this, subscribe, like the video, comment, and say hello. Today's Journal With Me is the second segment of my study abroad theme. So if you watch my Journal With Me number one, kind of like the intro, this number two, I'm starting a new series where I'm going to be drawing all my friends. So not all of them, just a couple of them, because that is gonna that would take me forever. <laughs> but I thought I would draw some of them, especially ones where we have like lots of inside jokes together. So the first person I'm drawing in my drawing my friend series is my friend Olivia. She was one of the first friends I made in our German classes. Before actual classes started, I decided to go a month earlier to take the German courses because I wanted to know some German before I went and lived in a different country. <laughs> um, yeah, and Olivia was one of my first friends. We did a lot, we did a lot of things together, um, adventuring, even just enjoying like Mannheim, the city we stayed in. It was really nice. She's very smart, beautiful. I always used her as my model for my Instagram pictures if you check them out at Kawaii Case. Um, she's very photogenic, so I love taking pictures of her. I, I mean, before I studied abroad, I didn't drink. So when I studied abroad, I decided, you know what, let's just give it a try. So Olivia and I went to this anti-Valentine's Day party and they made jungle juice and it didn't taste like alcohol. So I thought it tasted so good. So I had cups on cups on cups and you know, I thought I was, I was fine for a minute there. And then, you know, and it was fine. I was having fun. I was just like chatting with random people whatever, it's fine. And then eventually it got to the point where, you know, your girl has had a little too much. <laughs> when I woke up the next morning, she gave me, she put a little morning kit post-it in my room. And yeah, she took care of me after that situation. <laughs> but yeah, she's always looking out for me. Olivia's the first person I did go on a trip with outside of Germany. Um, we went to Barcelona together. That's gonna be part of my next series. After drawing my friends, I'm going to be doing all the different cities I went to. So I'll go more in depth about our experience together there. But until then, that's this is Olivia. So in my past journal with me, I kind of did a little life update. And then I talked more about the content. This time I just reversed it um, because <laughs> I feel like y'all should have a good idea of what's going on here. Also, I know some of you may be wondering, why is this called a journal with me if you're drawing? But this is my version of a journal. So that's why, and I also wanted to all be connected because this is part of the whole as the whole. It's not just like me drawing something random, like this is related to the whole theme. So that's why it's, that's why I call it a journal with me, but it could also be a draw with me. So if you guys, if you guys are drawing right now, if you guys are journaling right now, like this is just a nice time for us to do this. So in the beginning, you heard a clip of lovely Mary Berry um, talking about Brandy Snaps because <laughs> that is what I'm watching right now. So I thought I was, I, I went on a whole thing about the Great British Baking Show in the last journal with me. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to get into it today, but I will say I have finished the Great British Baking Show series and this is the masterclass I am watching now. So, and I'm like, I'm not halfway through. I still, I'm, I'm still, in the beginnings of it, so I still have a lot of good content to watch during my dur during my work or I do anything that I feel like having something in the background or just watching it as it is. I am just falling more in love with Mary Berry and Paul Hollywood. They are so cute. I love their dynamic. I'm just becoming more attached to these people in this show. Um, I still have Great British Baking Show holidays to watch after this, so, you know. I'm still occupied for a while. I shouldn't be lost like I was after New Girl for a minute. So that's good. Um, 
Okay, but yeah, that's what that's like the show I've been watching. I like using the journal with me as a way to connect with you all and help you all get to know me better. Um, but yeah, I thought I would share a little bit about what's been going on lately. So some lovely news. I have been working really hard with my best friend Alexis on making a freaking podcast. So I have a podcast out like right now, literally right now. Our trailer's out. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, and we are waiting on Google Pl Play Podcasts to let us know what's up. Let me know if any of you all use Google Podcasts because... I don't know anyone that does, but we're just putting it on there just so it's like, so people have more access to it. I'm making a podcast with my best friend and it's pretty freaking cool. We have been working so hard on this. I also have been a little, I also have been very stressed out and overwhelmed because of it, but I've, but I'm better now. We, we have gotten the startup administration hard stuff out of the way. And now it's just the fun part where we get to make the podcast every every week. So look out for our podcast on all your favorite streaming services on August 5th. You can listen to the trailer now to get a better idea of what our podcast is about. But yeah, that is one of the big major things that have been going on in my life is my podcast. That's what I've been up to for the past week or so. And in terms of my drawing... Um, drawing process and drawing style right now it is all over the place so as you saw as you can see by my drawing like I've started over multiple times <laughs> well one of the reasons being that I literally couldn't fit the arms outside of the page and, and I didn't like that it cut off so I had to change the pose but yeah my I'm so <sighs> it's frustrating to I mean I don't honestly don't even want to say I'm trying to figure out my art style anymore because like your art style is what it is and it's just constantly changing. And I think I just need to accept that. I think I just want so badly to, to just be able to just like draw something immediately and it just pop up and it's it's the, exactly what I want it to be. And it's like consistent every time, but I don't think it has to be consistent. It would help me maybe. As you can see, like my drawing style is very like messy almost. I use a lot of strokes because instead of erasing and doing redoing one line i rather brush i rather brush out multiple strokes until i get the right like line that i want and then i can erase and refine it afterwards so that's just the way i've always drawn so i always start out like that um i'm i'm using the cago green gelling pens in this completely besides the pencil and the eraser um and that eraser is like so good almost too good because as you can see like I can't even, um, I can barely see the lines that I made after erasing it. It's kind of like, I kind of have to play a game of memorization to remember exactly where I was, where I drew so I can put the pen on it because unfortunately I can't just put the, I can't just outline the whole sketch in the pen and then erase the pencil because these pens do bleed and they do spread. So that's like the flaw. I never really made art just with like, pens unless I was like doodling but like to actually make like a nice art piece this is my first time really using anything like this um but yeah I think I think a lot of other artists use like a colored pencil for the background and just do it lightly but the problem is I have such a heavy hand so that's kind of difficult <laughs> to deal with <laughs> um but you know I'm learning yeah when I'm finding myself I get frustrated every single time I draw. I don't think this one was as frustrating, but for some older pieces I was working on, it's just really frustrating because if you are a fellow artist like me, maybe you'll understand, but like, because I'm still new to digital illustration, I'm trying to figure out what kind of brushes I like, etc. like testing them out multiple times, all the different brushes, and then not liking any of them and having to like mix and match, go around again, it's like, and there's so many variations you can do. Um, this is kind of like, kind of like an, I'm basically just complaining, aren't I? Uh, I just wanted to rant about it <laughs> because yeah, I feel like I want my art to look a certain type of way 
and either the brushes I'm using are not doing the job or I'm just not like executing it correctly. Um, but I'm learning, it's a process, it's getting better. Um, I was happy with my most recent artwork, which is our artwork for our podcast. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be talking about that a lot now in my next couple of videos because we're, I'm really excited to do this new project and it's with my best friend and that's really cool to me. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I hope you guys enjoy this format. I like giving you guys an update of what's been going on in my life because it does change day to day, mentally, emotionally, physically. Let me know if there's any other content you would like to see from me. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Check out my podcast, follow me on Instagram. You know what to do. Connect with me. So I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.